Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything Ham Radio. My name is Curtis. Today we're going to be talking about the Yezu FTM-100DR. So stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything Ham Radio. My name is Curtis. My call sign is Kilo5 Charlie Lima Mike. And today we're going to be talking about the Yaesu FTM 100DR uh, dual band system fusion radio. But before we get into that, please make sure you click on that subscribe button down at the bottom right hand corner and the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Okay, let's get on into the overview of this radio. Okay, so this radio is available on Amazon right now for $334.93. While it is a dual band radio, meaning that you can receive on both 2 meters and 70 centimeters, you cannot do it at the same time. So it's not a true dual band radio, it only has one receiver. Um, that is one thing that I always look for when I'm uh, buying a new radio. If it's not dual receive, it's a no-go for me. But this is a good entry-level uh, radio to get into System Fusion. So there is 500 memory channels uh, per band. So there's a total of 1,000 memory channels. You get 500 on 2 meters and 500 on 70 centimeters. The frequency range on this uh, radio is very extensive on the receive. You can go from 108 megahertz to 999 megahertz. Of course, the cellular band is going to be taken out. You can't receive that. The transmit, however, um, only transmits from 144 to 148 on 2 meters and from 430 to 450 on 70 centimeters. Now, that's for the US version. The European version, I believe, is only 440 to 450. Um, there is three output power levels, uh, 5 watts, 20 watts, and 50 watts. It also has a loud uh, speaker on it. Um, it has three watts output on the internal speaker, and with an optional external speaker, you can get uh, eight watts of output. So it is a very loud speaker, uh, so it would be great to mount it underneath your seat or uh, you know, kind of hidden away a little bit, and you're going to get good audio time. There is two large and vibrant multicolored Busy or TX LED status indicators that clearly show the current operating status of the transceiver. Now, not only are there two LEDs to show you what you're doing, whether you're receiving or you're transmitting, but also the actual LCD screen changes colors as well. The top half will light up green when you are receiving or in a busy state, and will turn red during transmissions. The bottom half of the radio is a little bit different. It will turn blue while you're receiving uh, or transmitting digital voice signals. It'll turn white when you're receiving or transmitting digital data. Um, it also will blink blue if you're receiving signals containing a different tone, frequency, or DCS tone other than the one configured. So if you have, say you have 110.9 on your receive tone and somebody else transmits with a tone of 88.5, you won't be able to hear it, but your screen will flash blue to tell you there is somebody talking um, and maybe you can turn off your tone you know, really fast or something like that to hear it, which is a nice feature as well. Um, it does have a built-in 66-channel GPS receiver and antenna that provides location, time, direction, and APRS information. It has a built-in 1200 or 9600 baud APRS data communications um, modem built into the radio and also has the automatic mode selection function. Now this function is unique to Yaesu System Fusion. What this does is it will automatically set the mode of the radio depending on the uh, receiving uh, mode that you have coming in. So if you have uh, a System Fusion data uh, digital signal coming in, it'll automatically switch over to System Fusion Digital. If it's an analog signal that's coming in, it'll automatically switch over to analog. So it will automatically adjust. Same thing with the repeaters. If you transmit a digital signal, the repeater will automatically select. 
uh, to digital. If it's an analog, it'll automatically select to analog, which makes it really nice um, with the System Fusion radios. The FTM 100DR operates in three, dig three digital modes and one analog mode. The first digital mode is the V slash D mode, the voice data simultaneous communication mode. The digital voice signal is transmitted on half of the bandwidth, which is 12.5 kilohertz, while simultaneously uh, using the other half of the bandwidth for error correction of the voice signal and for other data, which makes it a clear technology uh, and makes the voice a whole lot clearer as well. Um, the second mode is the voice FR mode or full rate mode. This mode uses the full rate, uh, full 12.5 kilohertz bandwidth for digital voice. It permits a high quality voice communication, uh, superb sound and quality uh, during your rag chew sessions. The third mode is the data FR mode. This is the high speed data communication mode. It uses the full 12.5 kilohertz bandwidth for data communication. This is great for when you're sending pictures or transmitting large quantities of data at a high speed. The fourth mode that this radio will operate is analog FM mode. Now this is great whenever you have a station that you're trying to talk to that's at the very fringes of your capability of your radio. So if they're say, say you get uh, seven miles with a digital mode, on analog mode you might get an extra mile or two to be able to talk to them if you're doing like simplex or something. Another great feature with this radio, and I've noticed it a lot uh, with the newer radios, you can buy an optional Bluetooth module. Uh, the the uh, System Fusion one is BU-2. It retails on Amazon for $95.95, and it will give you the option to hook to a Bluetooth unit or a headset. And from my understanding, unlike the Icom where you have to have a specific one, I believe this one will hook to any Bluetooth. I may be wrong. If you have one of the System Fusion radios and you have the Bluetooth module, please leave a comment below and let me know. Another uh, module that you can uh, plug into your radio that is optional is the uh, voice guide unit, which is the FVS-2. And it resells on Amazon for $43.80. What this module will do, will it will um, audibly announce your current operating frequency, uh, band changes, APRS messages, etc. It will also record up to five minutes of received signal or continuously record the last 30 seconds of your received audio. So, neat little radio. I don't like that it doesn't have the true dual band receive on it, but like I said, it is a good entry mode or entry level radio to get into system fusion. And if you're not if you don't have to have it where you can receive on both 2 meters and on 440, this will be a nice radio for you. Next week we're going to be talking about the next step up on the system fusion radios, which is the uh, Yezu FTM 400 XDR. It is a true dual band radio and it has a bunch of the same features as this radio. So make sure you click on that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss the video when it comes out. But until then, check out some of the other videos I have on my channel. I'll try to link them here on the screen for you. And uh, until next time, 73 y'all.